my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so do you want to know about SEO and WordPress yes if you're here you're wondering either what is SEO or you want to know how to optimize your blog your WordPress site for search engine optimization basically optimizing WordPress so that search engines will find your stuff more readily whenever you're typing whenever somebody's searching for something that's related to what you're posting about you want to make sure they find it same thing with your courses online courses or anything like that we're going to talk about WordPress but lots of it applies to your courses your websites that you host your courses on they need to have this ability and we're going to talk about a few different things that affect the search engine optimization what is search engine optimization what you know what is SEO and how do you take advantage of it in the different places where you control the content so we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets search engine optimization SEO I remember when I started five years ago I was like what is that what does that actually mean over the years I've learned lots of different little tricks lots of different little things but the main thing you have to remember is that there's there's four maybe four places right four places where search engines look for the phrase that the person's searching for right so what is what does that mean let me just uh, share my screen here I probably should have prepared a few things but it doesn't really matter we're just gonna go with it um, if you're listening to this on audio you might want to go and check out the video you can find it on my blog at jsgagnon or jeansergegagnon.com there's going to be a link you can always go back to the original podcast and go check that out from there if you're listening to the shorter video you're going to see this video ends and there's a link to the page but if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're looking at it on my blog then please go ahead and share subscribe and like and comment all the good stuff right so what is SEO now one of the things about SEO is if I short share my screen here you can see the Google uh, search engine so right now if I just type a search like for example um how to optimize up optimize word oh, I didn't even type it right optimize word press for SEO so I'm just going to type that so whenever whenever anybody searches anything on Google now I have this plugin installed that's why you see this related keywords thing that's one of the plugins I have it's uh, I forget what it's called but you know this is not what this uh, this episode is about but you can see right here when I click on this the first few things I see are ads right now these ads they're people paying so that whenever somebody types either the whole phrase I have here how to optimize you know uh, uh WordPress for SEO or maybe WordPress for SEO or optimize WordPress those are what are called words keywords that people are searching for I remember when I first started I was like well keywords isn't keywords like you know a word like optimize or wordpress or how right aren't those keywords but no that's not what it is a keyword in the world of SEO in the world of Google in the world of search engines is a set of words separated by spaces it can be this whole thing it's called how to optimize wordpress for SEO that that's a keyword that whole thing is a keyword so the thing that you that there's different things you got to do to optimize that so there obviously there's a whole bunch of people talking about this this is exactly an example of something but if you want to do something like courses or anything like that let's just uh, put that in this own tab I'm going to resize this too so that it shows up on the whole screen so you see the whole thing right there we got it right here let's move, move that up a little bit we don't need that and there we go <laughs> okay so that's the whole browser there all right so there's a few things so first your title the title of your blog the title of your video on YouTube the title of your course the title of your lesson the title of whatever the page that the person lands on the title has to have 
the keyword you want people to be finding for so and the thing too is that you're not going to want to um you know like how to optimize wordpress for seo right so this episode here i called uh let me see what did i call it i called it i actually this is uh, optimizing wordpress for seo and creating first blog post so we're going to do i'm going to create a blog post in a minute i'll show you how to do that in uh, the platform i have but it's really just wordpress so we'll show you how to do that there a little bit but the thing is that that is my key my key word is optimizing wordpress for seo and creating first blog post that's my whole keyword now inside of that keyword there's creating first blog post there's optimizing wordpress there's wordpress for seo those are sub keywords that are part of my keyword right so if somebody searches for some of these things they might still find my page right and the reason the reason why that is is because I optimize the the title of the, the blog post I also optimize the title of the video and the file name and so if we look at for example let's say I go to my previous episodes here right if I look at any of these episodes right so how to host your free course on Click eCourse right so that's an episode it's how to host your now, as you can see the file names in here they're all named the same thing right so when I upload to YouTube the YouTube name shows up there if I show you for example here let's just I got YouTube over here if I go to YouTube YouTube and then I go to my channel where is my, my channel and then I look at my video well actually I'll go to YouTube studio because I want to show you what it looks like when I upload the video so that's one thing you got to make sure that any files that you use when you upload them to YouTube or to your WordPress blog or any place like that that the file name contains your keywords as well and that's you use you there and they're called uh slugs and a slug is a phrase with spaces separated by dashes all lowercase with all the special characters removed and yeah so there's numbers and letters and just dashes right that's it so that's a slug but you don't have to worry about that because when you name a file and then you upload it the slug will be kind of like taken care of so if I look at this for example and I take a look at the video I did yesterday uh, and I just click on edit you can see right here that the file name is actually showing up right here that's the original file name I had now this is not a slug because because uh, YouTube will keep the actual name the full name of it as you can see right here it's the exact same thing I got a date there the number of my episode that's just the way I organize things right and then I have how to set up a WordPress site for free in five minutes right so that's the name of the file and I uploaded it like that and same thing with the I don't know if you can see the name of the uh I'm not sure if you can see the name of the thumbnail can I if I click it does it do anything yeah well there's some anyways I did the same thing with the thumbnail the thumbnail here right this is a thumbnail for a different episode but the thumbnail has the same name in it it has the date well I mean the date and the the date and the number is not really important for SEO purposes but the rest here how to host like in this case how to host your free course on Click eCourse platform that that's part of the search engine right so I've got that like that so you got to make sure that the video and the files that you use have the name so now that's on YouTube uh let's see what else um so your files then okay then your blog so on Click eCourse if uh, you go to Click eCourse you can set up your free WordPress there's a there's a there's search engines um there's there's blog posts that you can search for on my blog just search for WordPress you'll find the different WordPress posts I have on there that talk about setting up that so we're not going to talk about setting that up right now but if I go to my blog well actually I'll go straight to my blog if I go to jeansargegagnon.com this is my blog right so my blog has got a certain theme it's just WordPress so I chose a theme I forget it called news something but when I go to the actual dashboard of my blog okay um when you want to create a post right you go to posts right here uh, and then you just click on add new so we're not going to do that just yet I want to show you some of the settings you want to make sure you have in WordPress for SEO optimization first of all under settings the perma links under settings the perma links you want to make sure that you use post name as the 
permalink in the by default it's plain which is like this which is question mark p equals in some some number right whereas when you go post name it's going to be your post the actual post and when you're creating your post and um, and by the way you know you can flip back and forth with this if you've started your blog a while ago and you forgot to set this it's fine it's still you can flip it the only thing is I'm not I'm not sure I think the links will still the original links if you posted your links elsewhere on social media or something those links will still work I could probably test it I suppose uh well actually let's test it I'm gonna change my blog to plain when I save it and if I go to my blog over here now whenever you look at all these blog posts if I click on this one for example it goes to p equals 3275 okay so that's the blog post here but if I switch it back to post name which is what I use all the time which is making it if I reload this page let's see does it still find it oh it does it finds it and switches over to the actual new permalink uh, kind of a or post name so as you can see right here the name of the post is right there right let's close this guy up the name of the post so my post is in this case was course income secrets 188 free course hosting solutions for 2020 right so that was the actual and the and then the the seo string if you will was free course hosting solutions for 2020 so that's the that's the actual uh seo string or keyword that i'm using in this post right and as you can see the url actually contains exactly that that's the url that's whenever somebody does a, whenever it goes in the search engine it adds it to uh well i'm not really sure what the engines do but the name shows up in the url that helps it to rank higher right it helps the seo ranking and what you want whenever you're thinking about seo whenever you're thinking of search engine optimization is you want to rank higher you want to be up in the list you want to be at the top right <laughs> so the highest ranking you have the higher you're going to be in the list so that when people search for whatever it is you're talking about it'll be at the top of the list right you want to be on the first page that's obviously your ultimate goal right so that's okay so that's the thing so that's that's the um post name inside of the permalink settings you just go to settings in your wordpress dashboard on the very left hand side you're going to see all the menus and there's a settings right there under settings there's something called permalinks and you go in that settings and you set the common settings uh to post name uh there's a whole bunch of different other options I wouldn't worry about it just use post name all right so that's your for to optimize SEO for the uh, URL okay now the next thing is let's uh talk about creating a post so we're going to create a post uh let's let's actually create this post this post right here um let me just this is one of the things I kind of do uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see um I'm not ready yeah I'm not ready to create the post for this episode right now let's not do that let's just create a post okay so I'll show you how to create a post so if we go into your back office and into your wordpress and you know admin or back back admin or whatever you call it there the word the wordpress uh, dashboard you're going to see all the options on the side right they're going to be a post there's going to be media there's going to be pages there's going to be comments and then different things depending on the plugins you've installed so what you want to do is you want to go to posts you click on that which will list all your posts and if you don't have any yet you, it'll just show you know one or none but there's going to be a button up top there right next to post you're going to click on add new so now we're going to create a new post what do you got to do in your post to make it seo friendly uh first of all you gotta have a title that is your keyword so in this case we have a keyword that we decided we want to you know how to optimize wordpress for seo which is kind of what we search for in google so we go to our post and we make that the title now the title doesn't have to be exactly that you could have like me in my case I have course income secrets number you know 220 dash and then I make it how to optimize I make uppercase there right optimize wordpress I'll make the words nicer like for the because that'll be the title 
of the blog right so SEO so so first of all you got the title the title of the blog which will give it the name inside the URL based on the permalink that you set to post name right post post title <laughs> then what you want to do is you want to start typing stuff and uh, what I do in my video in my post is I actually put a video as the very first thing at the top of my post but you don't have to be doing that it really depends on how you want to do it but the but this the, the most important thing is that this particular part or or your title has to be repeated again two three times within the post so that the the search engine sees it more than once in the actual post text right so in this case I would I would just start with something like this I would say so you want to learn and then I'd paste the title again right how to optimize wordpress for seo and then you know you've come to the to the right place right and you'll learn learn now all about okay so obviously that's kind of silly it's an exaggeration but the point is that you want to have this exact phrase elsewhere in your post two three times and even you want to have that as a heading right we want to have that as a heading in your post so that's why I usually start the very first part of my blog is a video and then after that I have part of the title repeated again right underneath as a heading then I start text right then the next part is the images like for example if I add an image in here I add an image and I upload I'm going to put an image that has the word of whatever my my like I said you know those images the thumbnails those kinds of things that I'm using um, I have the name of the the, the 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 keyword in the name of the file so I'm going to I'm going to upload that and it's going to show up in here and if you look at the details can I see that what can I see that uh, info oh it's on the side here sorry I, it's been been a while uh, styles and image most no I guess you could put a title attribute those kinds of things I thought I thought you could see it here but you can't or maybe you can but I'm not sure where but if I go back to say I just save this as a draft and then I go back to my media because everything you upload in WordPress goes into your media right so if I go to media library then I see this is right here it's uploaded and then when you look at it the title has the name right here right the name of the the name of the file which contained my keyword in it and the uh is the url and the link which is part of my uh is actually has it too right so if I was to go and look at for example if I go back to my posts and I look at this post that I'm editing right now and I preview it I can actually preview it right so there, until I save it, it it's it's previewable after you save it it becomes a post but if I preview it and I right click on this image open image in new tab you're going to see that image contains the name of the the keyword right here right contains the name well actually you can't see that sorry let me move that down a bit so there you go see you can see the name how the name of the url has my blog and uploads whatever but it contains the name of the file that I uploaded which is in this case how to set up a wordpress site in three and five minutes right and that's right in the name of the file so so that's uh that's so those are the things that are important yeah you, you got to have a title that is seo based on what you're wanting your audience to find uh, but what your audience is searching for the kinds of things that they are interested in you got to have that name that that keyword you got to have that keyword in the video uploads the file uploads that you are going to be sharing inside that that blog post right um, and inside the like for me when I when I do the videos right I actually paste some of my blog right in there I put the name the keyword right in the description and I also have it it's also right in here right it's also right in here uh actually it's not but 
but it maybe it should be that's one thing I probably could do is add that in the description but I'm not sure about YouTube whether that's critical or not but it certainly would help just like I said if you have that repeated which I haven't been doing actually I'm realizing that right now as I'm explaining to you that that's important that I haven't been doing that I haven't been putting my keyword within the text two or three times elsewhere right okay so now the other thing that you might want to do is inside of WordPress there's a plugin that I really like that's called Yoast SEO so if I go back to my dashboard under plugins you would go in plugins and you would um you could click on add new right there in plugins and then you could just search for Yoast y-o-a-s-t s-e-o right you can search for that in my case I think it won't show up because it's oh it's already installed yeah right here so the Yoast SEO it's already active but in my case it would show install if you're if you don't have it yet it would show install now and there's a bunch of other ones I don't know about the other ones uh you could try some of them right there's Yoast search engine purge there's Yoast glue for Yoast there's a whole bunch of other things that I don't really know about but what the Yoast SEO does if I go back to my posts you can see on the side right here some little indications of the quality of your post right so some of them I'm not doing very good some of them are doing better I'm not super worried about some people are super anal about all this stuff make sure that's all green all the time and you know what you can and that's the cool thing about this the plugin is it, it'll give you by the way the version of the plugin I'm using is the free version they, they have an upgrade version but you can do all this with the free version right uh this shows you whether your uh you know post has what is this one this is readability score and then seo score right so as you can see I don't have a uh, I don't have a green <laughs> SEO score on most of my posts but I'm not optimizing my posts that way I I do some of the stuff and like I said trying to explain it to you right now I'm realizing that there's things that I'm not doing but if you're listening to the audio uh you're gonna you're not gonna see this obviously but what we're seeing right now is on the side of the blog on the left hand side of each of your posts uh in the list of posts you're gonna see either a, a red green orange uh I think there's also yellow uh light underneath a, a column that says SEO score and then another one underneath the column that says readability score those are part of Yoast SEO and if I go to a to the post itself um one of the things that you want to do is you want to take your keyword like in this case how to optimize WordPress for SEO that's my keyword in this post right and then you scroll down to the bottom and there's a Yoast SEO section once you've installed the plugin where there's a focus key phrase section you just paste in there your keyword and then it gives you different things like for example you can you can look at the readability score it'll tell you readability score whether your readability is good or not it gives you links to go and read up on what those things mean and then under social you can choose an image you can change your Facebook title whenever you share the URL in Facebook right instead of showing the the, the actual post it'll you can change it so it shows a specific title instead or maybe you want to cut out some stuff or maybe you don't want the first part of your post to show up necessarily in Facebook you want the middle of it you can choose those kinds of things same thing with Twitter so they have Facebook and Twitter integration I'm not sure if they have more when you uh when you uh pay for the paid Yoast version but Yoast premium they could talk about I'm not sure but anyways that's uh, that's all good so um yeah so that's that's what you got to do to to optimize for WordPress you got to have your you got to have whoops wrong uh wrong 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 what's going on what's going on I'm clicking around here too much okay so you got to have your keyword and then and then lots of people talk about doing a keyword research right so if I type for example if I want to post on how to optimize WordPress for SEO I'm going to do that keyword search and then I look through all the other keywords WordPress SEO thought plugin Yoast SEO plugin is WordPress good for SEO wordpress.com SEO all these searches that people are searching for there's different plugins that let you see the different keywords that people are searching for you can use a different one right uh, how to rank WordPress site in Google maybe I could do a post and change the title to that instead right um, search engine optimization blog I can do that WordPress search engine theme WordPress search engine tags 
validating a word a word a website in wordpress wordpress search engine plugin all these keywords are related to what people search for that has to do with what I just searched for there so you can actually find um, a, a keyword you know cost um, combination that's better than what you searched for before right so that's that's one of the things they talk about and and this is a thing so for me I do you know I'm doing course income secrets kind of thing it's kind of like all the stuff that has to do with with courses and learning about courses how to generate income online so I could do a search for a course income secrets right and I could I could put that in my in my search engine searches and I and there's all sorts of tools that allow you to do that um and I could I could decide on my content based on those searches so that my content is always kind of related even though right now it's kind of related it's probably could be even better so that's one of the things you could do I could do that you could do uh, like I said there's a I've I haven't really done lots of SEO myself I've learned a few things uh, but I haven't really been super super focused right on SEO and if I if I look at my the way that I've been doing my videos for me it's been about making sure the names match making sure the the title has the right thing the slug the the URL has the right thing the the video the video has the right thing the making sure that all that stuff is all you know optimized at least that the very minimum and I haven't been like super crazy anal about all these crazy uh, things that you can read up on SEO there's lots of people that are super crazy about the SEO and they do really good so it depends right the focus has to be about what you're trying to accomplish as a result right so for me um that's kind of what I do and that's how you create your post in WordPress you just go to, uh, the, to your dashboard you click on add new and then you start writing a post and you got to make sure the title has your keyword in it you got to make sure you repeat your keyword a few times throughout the title you got to make sure that your WordPress blog has got the permalink as the title and then you got to make sure that the files that you upload whether be it videos or images have the title or your keyword in the file name even though you don't necessarily see the file name when people look um you know, say for example on Facebook on YouTube they just you just see the 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 weird name right you don't see the original file name but the SEO engine does and so that's why those things are important so hopefully you got some value out of this I if you if you think anybody else needs to hear this then please go ahead and share I'd really appreciate it and I'd love to hear from you let me know have you set up a WordPress site do you do you have a specific topic is there something you're struggling with that you'd like me to talk about I'd love to hear from you and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.